Okay, so first of all, I'm going to search for Flourish and then select Flourish Studio and then select Get Started for Free. And this is where you would create an account. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in and then go to New Visualization and then scroll down until we find the slope chart and select the default. Then this is the template data that it comes with. I'm going to change the view to data and then press Control A to select all and delete all of the data. Then I will go to Excel and I will copy and paste in this data. And now I need to change the columns on the side. So the names are still in column A, but the results are now in columns B and C, and the categories are now in column D. Then I'll go back to the preview, and there are still highlighted slopes from the template data, so I will delete these and then click off of it to update the chart. Then I'll name the chart slope graph. Of course, when you use a service like this for free, there are strings attached and any data that you upload won't be private. So just keep that in mind. Now you can change the size of the chart by clicking on these options here. And you can also customize the size as well. So I'll type 600 in here and 650 in here. And then you can also change the size by clicking and dragging. Then in the tabs down the side here, you have various different formatting options. And I'm just going to show you a few of those. So you can change the size of the circles or remove them completely. You can increase the width of the lines. You can also highlight particular lines if you want to. So I'll type in the name of one of my lines and then that one will be highlighted. And if I go to labels, I can deselect only show highlighted labels and then it will show me the labels for the other lines as well. But the highlighted line will still be the only one in full color. I'm just going to get rid of that. And then you can choose different colors from different palettes. And you can also choose your own colors by editing a palette as well. I will choose this palette. And then you can also do a custom override if you want to make a category a particular color. So I'll type original and colon and teal. And then that will change the color of the original lines to teal. Then in the Labels tab, I will deselect Hide Overlaps and that will show me all of the labels, even the ones that are overlapping. Then I'll select On here to spread out all of the labels and then increase the distance from the axis line a little bit and increase the size of the font. And then I'll change the line style to Straight and then change the color of the lines so they are black. Then in the axes tab, I can increase the font size to make the axes labels bigger and change the axes color to black and increase the width of the axes line and get rid of the dashes. Then in the legends tab, I can change the position of the legend and also increase its size. And I can remove the legend completely if that's what I want. And then also customize the title for the legend or just remove it completely. Then I can change the size of the colored squares. And if I want them to be perfect squares, I need to make the width and the height the same number. And then the roundness is the roundness of the corners of the squares. Then in the number formatting tab, as my numbers are percentages, I'm going to put a percent symbol as the suffix. 
but you have lots of different number formatting options. Then in the headers tab, I will put in a title and you can also change the format of the title. So I can customize the size if I want. And then I can also give it a subtitle. And customize the formatting of that as well if I want. Then I'll also add in a border at the bottom and increase the width of this line. And then I'll change the color of the line to green. Then in the footer tab, I will add in a source name. And I can increase the size of the font of that as well. Then I'll go back to the layout tab and I'll change the font as well. Then once you have formatted your chart to look the way that you want it, go to export and publish and then select download image. And you can choose the file format that you want. And then I recommend ticking the times two box because if not, your chart might come out looking a little blurry and then download. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a slope graph using Flourish and that is everything.